What's going on guys and welcome back to another episode of Watch It In Action. I'm Mouse Phoenix and today we're going to be taking a look at the Staticor. The Staticor is a corpus weapon that was just released last night with the new update and you can find it in your clan's energy lab. Now this weapon won't be available to you until you reach at least mastery rank 5 so you got a little something to look forward to when you get there. In my opinion, this thing very closely resembles the Sonicor in the way that it fires. It's got kind of the energy bolt thing going for it that has a short travel, uh, you know, a short travel distance and kind of a lengthy travel time. But that is offset by the massive amount of damage this thing can do and how fun it is to use. So that being said, I've taken it out. I put a build together for it, and I'm really impressed with how it turned out. The thing does basically radiation damage. Which is kind of cool, so against those sorties where enemies have physical resistance, which is a, a modifier that you can run into, this thing will be amazing, especially if those targets are Grenier. Because when you have an innate radi when you have an innate elemental damage type, and that's a combined element, so like radiation is fire and lightning, when you have a combined elemental damage type like that, you can put other elemental damage types on that weapon that you wouldn't necessarily be able to do. And I call those impossible elemental combos, it's just a term that I use a lot of the time. We'll take a look at that when we see the build here in a second, but uh, some of the, the cons to this weapon, like I said earlier, it's got a slow travel time, and it doesn't work as advertised uh, in the videos and everything they showed us, and, like, and even in the market picture that you see when you go to buy this thing, it shows you as putting the two halves of the weapon together to form like a fist cannon, kind of like Mega Man sort of thing. It doesn't actually do that. They kind of like, you, you charge it together and it, you know does some electricity stuff, but you never actually clamp it together, so it looks kind of weird. I don't know why they designed it like that and then didn't have that animation for it, but if a cosmetic thing is really the only bad thing about that, I feel like that's pretty inconsequential. That being said, I love this weapon a lot. It's quickly becoming one of my favorite secondaries, and it's extremely powerful. Some of the other things, it's got a really large magazine size and good ammo economy. Uh, you're not going to be running out of ammo with this thing fairly often. If you do, you can always bring along ammo restore pads, stuff like that to keep you going. Uh, it has two fire modes. You can spam on the trigger to shoot out these little energy bolts, or you can charge it down. You can hold the trigger down to charge up one giant shot. And I'm going to show you some ways that you can kind of play with this weapon and make it a lot of fun. Uh, but first, let's take a look at the build here real quick. Okay, so you may have seen some other videos of some other content creators out there that are putting builds together for this thing, and uh, I've seen some for 5 Forma, I've seen some for 4, stuff like that. A lot of people doing a lot of different things. My build only requires 3 Forma. Now, that may not sound like a lot, as opposed to somebody that's using 5 Forma, but let me show you my reasoning. First off, I want to say that with this build, I was able to, and I'll demonstrate this for you here in a second, but we were able to take down level 90 Corrupted Bombards, like, no problem. In one magazine, we're able to take out a group of Corrupted Bombards, so... Taking a look at the build here real quick, we've got Hornet Strike, which is going to be our base increase to damage, no brainer there, 220% damage across the board, we're going to use that on every secondary we have. Feral Diffusion is going to add multi-shot for us, which is essential for this weapon, the more pellets you have, the better, I mean, and these things explode and they deal area of effect damage, which is super nice when you got a bunch of them. Lethal Torn is going to up our fire rate and our multi-shot, fire rate is something that's really important for this weapon, because that charge is extremely slow. Uh, this is with Lethal Torn and Anemic Agility. It's a lot slower than this without those. So, Anemic Agility was a mod that I had a hard time choosing, but a lot of people seem to be using it, and after I played with it a lot, it made a lot of sense to go with it. This thing does so much damage that that negative 15% damage isn't really going to hurt you that bad. You're not really going to notice it that much. If you are really a min-maxer and you want the most damage you can possibly get out of this thing, go with Gunslinger instead. But I still highly recommend a fire rate mod, even if you're not going to be charging the weapon, because it allows you to shoot faster when you're spamming those trigger clicks. So, definitely Anemic Agility or Gunslinger, or maybe even the new one that uh, on Reload or whatever, if you want to go that route, if you don't want to incur the 15% damage, but you still want 90% fire rate. That's a little more convoluted, but you can definitely go with the new, uh, the new event mod. Uh, as far as my elements go here, you can use any elements you want, but notice that we have radiation and corrosive. That shouldn't be possible, right? Because you need lightning to make radiation. That would normally just be, the lightning we use for corrosive would normally just be absorbed in the radiation, and we would just have toxin left over, so we'd have radiation and toxin. But when a weapon has an innate damage type, like radiation or corrosive or viral or whatever, it can never not have that damage type on it. Anything else you add, even if it's an element that would contribute to it, is going to just create a second combined element. So hopefully that made sense, hopefully that wasn't too roundabout way to explain that, but essentially, long story short, the TLDR of it is that we got radiation and corrosive on this build, which is extremely effective against Grenier. You're going to be able to take out just about any Grenier target that exists with this build. Um, and then if you don't want radiation and corrosive, or if you don't want corrosive, you can swap out to another element here. The only unfortunate thing is you're always going to have radiation, which is a little less effective against uh, uh, corrupted shield, or um, uh, 
corpus shields and really ineffective against infested units so take that into consideration uh the build i put together here is for 89 percent status that's pretty high considering how fast this thing fires you're going to get that status proc a lot you're going to be irradiating your enemies and they're going to be attacking each other so this thing has some really good crowd control with it as well and then if you don't want corrosive you can swap these out for something else all you need is just two 60 percent status mods and then two 90 percent elemental mods so go with those you can't really go wrong i added just the convulsion and the pathogen rounds just to give me a lot of corrosive damage uh, but you can use whatever you want uh, these are just a placeholder for this video so this is the build guys like i said i'm pretty confident in it it performs really well it's a super solid versatile build a lot of people need the extra forma because they're using things like prime heated charge and stuff like that or they're using an extra element or an extra 90 percent elemental i decided to go with more status because i feel like status is very useful and this thing performs very well at high levels anyway so if you want more damage throw another dash polarity on here and go with another 90 percent elemental if you like this build as it is just keep these polarities it already comes with a dash so all you need to do is put these three Y's on here and you're golden. So that being said, let's go ahead and take it out to the range here. I want to show you some uh, some different frame sh uh, synergies with this weapon. I want to show you the weapon by itself and then some different frame synergies. So we'll just test it on our Corrupted Butchers here real quick. And then I'll show you some, uh, some Bombards here in a second too. So you have the two firing modes, like I said. The one where you spam the trigger. And you notice this has kind of kind of long travel time. You know, you have to lead your targets a little bit. And then it doesn't have a super far flight time either. It's kind of like the Sonicor where the, the shots will explode in midair if they don't hit anything. But you notice the damage we're doing is just insane, man. It just it keeps stacking because that corrosive is going to take away their armor. And then, of course, radiation is good against these guys as well. So you get the occasional crit in there for like 6 or 8k, which is really nice. The thing only has a 10% crit chance, but I feel like it crits pretty reliably for what it is. And pretty hard for, you know, not having any critical damage mods on it. But... Uh, real quick here, I want to show you how this thing acts with Mirage. We'll uh, we'll put some guys down here, and then I'll show you the charge shot as well. So, do our clones real quick, and then just pure chaos and bedlam. Those guys were just wiped out. Less than half a magazine, and I took out like five or six of them. So, uh, now of course these aren't the strongest corpus enemy or corrupted enemies you can run into. They're level ninety corrupted butchers. They're pretty tough. Anything at level ninety is going to be tough to take out, but. You can see here where I mean we're doing pretty good with them and then of course you have the uh, the charge shot here all you do is you, you charge it up and then once it's fully charged you let it go now the other thing you can let this go at any point in time you don't have to charge it all the way you can spam it you can charge it a little bit and as you charge it though keep in keep in mind your ammo counter is gonna go down as you charge it so a full charge takes five ammo to shoot it and it moves really slow so you want to make sure you're right on top of something before letting that go now, the other thing here is I want to show you guys this weapon with Zephyr, because that's going to, with a Zephyr Turbulence build, it's going to increase our flight time of the projectiles, which is going to be super helpful. And you guys notice here, I don't know if you've come into this glitch yet, but look, we kind of look like Mirage. You've got the Mirage markings on us, and we switch from Mirage to Zephyr for some reason. Very odd, but uh, regardless, I mean, I think it actually kind of looks cool. So, we're going to use some Corrupted Bombards for this exercise, and I'll show you how this, this thing works. So, I'm going to charge up a shot here real quick. And it's going to fly a lot faster. We're going to notice we're going to get a lot more flight time out of that. And then we're going to just spam some shots on these guys. The only thing, too, is you're going to get a lot of screen shake using this weapon, which is like that turns some people off. Some people don't really like that, but, you know, it doesn't really bother me that much if I'm doing this much damage to something. And we just tore right through all five of those those corrupted bombards. I mean, that's, that's pretty ridiculous to me. So, I like this weapon a lot. Guys, give it a chance. You know, it takes a little bit to research this thing, but I think it's very, very much worth it. So... Give it a shot, check it out. Again, as always, you can find a lot of builds like this. Most of my builds are on the website, bousphoenix.com. If you guys go there, make sure to bookmark it and turn off your ad block while you're there because that helps me out a ton. And uh, I really appreciate you guys watching. I hope you learned something from this video, and I will see you at the next one.